Hi guys, it's Priscilla from Priscilla's Craft Shop and on today's video, we're learning how to make a Mickey Mouse hat. The pattern is going to be available for free on my website at priscillascraftshop.com. Um, it's gonna be different sizes from baby to large child and everything in between. And when I say baby, I mean zero to three months. But on today's video, I'm going to be making a toddler size just because I have a toddler who happens to be obsessed with Mickey Mouse at the moment. So, I'm going to break this video into two parts. The first part is going to be the base. The second part is going to be the add-on, such as the ears, the buttons, and the braids. Okay? They will both be uploaded at the same time, so you don't have to wait. So, let's get to making our base. Okay, so this pattern we're doing is the Tyler version. And we're going to be working in a magic circle and we're going to be doing it in rounds of double crochet you're going to join at the end of every round and chain two but the chain two does not count as a double crochet all right so you're going to be doing your double crochets your first ones your twos whatever it is in that same stitch as your chain two we're going to start off with a magic circle going to chain two and make nine double crochet You're then going to close your magic circle by pulling, joining to your first double crochet. This gets a little tight sometimes. Chain two. And the next round that you're going to do is going to be two double crochets in each stitch for a total of 18 double crochets because two times nine is 18. Again, you're going to do it in the same stitch as your join and your same stitch as your chain two. This does not count as a double crochet. So you're going to be doing two in the same one, okay? going to join in your first double crochet and chain two. This next round is going to be a total of 27. So we're going to do two double crochets in one stitch, one double crochet in the next. Two double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next. So kind of like a set of threes for each one, right? Until you get to 27. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 24, 25, 
26, 27. Going to join to your first double crochet and chain two. Next round is going to be a total of 36. So you're going to do two double crochets in one stitch, double crochet twice in the next two stitches. So two double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, two double crochet, double crochet, double crochet. So basically sets of four until you get to 36. One, again, the chain two does not count. So you have to do two in the same spot, okay? Two. Three, four, five, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, this one should be two and one, 29, 30, 31, 32. I just wanna make sure we're in the same space, okay? We're up to 32. The next one, 33 and 34, should go in the same stitch. 33. 34, 35, 36. Okay, so now the next set is going to be, first let's join on our first double crochet and chain two. The next set is going to be 45. So we're going to increase the 45. The way we do that is two double crochet and one and double crochet in each stitch for the next three stitches. So this set is basically set of five, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Now two, six, seven, Eight. Oh, that eight was nasty. Let me redo that one. Eight, nine, ten. Now, set of two again. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Next set of two. Sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Next set of two. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. This one's two. 27, 28, 29, 30. Next one's another set of two. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. And just so we're on the same page, when I say set of two, I mean the two double crochet that goes into the same stitch. 36, 37, those are two. 38, 39, 40. 
And now our last two, 41, 42, right? Those two are in the same stitch. 43, 44, 45. We finish that round, join to the first double crochet and chain two. The next round that we're going to do is going to be an increase to 54. So the way that works is two double crochet in one and then a double crochet in the next four stitches. So this round is basically rounds of sixes, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that one's double, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, doubles again. 13 and 14 go in the same space. 15, 16, 17, 18. Next double. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Next double. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Next double, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. And if it's easier for you to just count in sets of sixes, like you can do one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever works, whatever is easier for you. So we're up to 36. Our next set of doubles is coming up 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. 43, 44, that was a double, 45, 46, 47, 48, our last row is coming up, here's a double, 49, oops, 49, come on now, 50, 51, 52, 53, and 54. So we're going to join with the slip stitch, chain two. Our next row is not an increased row. We're going to just do another row of 54 double crochet across. Three, four, five, six, Thirty. 
40. Fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four. Okay, so now you're going to join and see your first double crochet, chain two. Our next row is going to be an increased row, and we're going to increase to 60. So we're going to work in sets of 10. So it's going to be two double crochet and a single double crochet in the next eight stitches, okay? So you're gonna be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 with the increase at the beginning after 10. So one, two is an increase, 11, 12 is an increase, 21, 22, like that, okay? Until we get to 60. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, that is an increase. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Our next increase is coming up on this one, 21, 22, 23, Increase again, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 42, that's an increase. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Our last set is coming up. Here's the increase. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Okay, you see our hat, our little hat is starting to form. You're going to join with a slip stitch into your first double crochet and chain two. So now, since we're doing a toddler size, our next row is going to be our last increase and we're going to increase it to 62. So we're only adding two more stitches. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. This is also going to be our last row of black before we transition to the red. Now, 
for my child, taller version to 62 is what works because he has a small head. He's always had a small head. But if your toddler has a slightly bigger head, that is okay. You can use the small child um, version of the hat. It's slightly bigger. I tried it on my son. It doesn't fit him huge. It fits him pretty cute. But I kind of like the hat to be kind of more snug and fit on the head, especially since we're from New York and our winters are, you know, it gets pretty cold. So I like to make sure that his head is, is nice and snug. He doesn't have a ton of hair. So it's not like it's a little girl where she might need space for a ponytail or something. That's not the case. So a 62 works for me. If a 62 does not work for you, you need more space for hair if you're doing like a Minnie Mouse version or if you need um, more space because the child just has a bigger head, that is okay. Sometimes they grow their head a little faster than others and you can do the small child version, okay? So our next increase, what we're going to do is we're going to chain two and our very first stitch where our chain, we're going to double crochet twice sorry, and our first stitch with our chain two is, right? So that's gonna be the two double crochet. Let's get that out the way. And then what we're going to do is, we're not gonna do another increase for another 29 stitches. We're going to do one double crochet in the next 29 stitches. So I'm not gonna count these two, I'm just gonna count to 29, okay? If you must know, or if you want to count them, you're going to basically go until you reach to 31. So one, two, if you count the first two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Sorry, I was laughing. My husband. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. My husband came out and he tries to be super quiet. He's like tiptoeing. He looks like a cartoon character. Okay, so we did our twenty-nine stitches. We have our chain two, our, I'm sorry, our two double crochet here, and then we have our 29 double crochet for a total of 31 double crochets. So the next thing we're going to do is another two double crochet in the same stitch, okay? So that's gonna be an increase. And then we're going to do on the remaining 29 stitches, double crochet all across. So let's just finish that across and I'll see you here when we can, we're, Okay, so we're next we have the next 29 stitches. So we're just gonna do one double crochet in each stitch. So let's just finish that off and I'll see you guys at the end of it. Okay guys, so we have reached the end of our row. So we're not going to slip stitch the normal way, right? Because now we're going to do a color change. We're going to change from black to red. So what I like to do to kind of make this color change a little more seamless is I'll insert my hook as I would if I was going to slip stitch the back. Take my red, pull up, pull the black, pull the red, and chain two. Okay? Okay. 
Let's move the black out of the way. We no longer need that. So the 62 double crochet increase was the last of our increases. Now we're only going to work in rounds of 62 double crochet in red, okay? And we're going to do this up to the 14th row. Right now with your black, you should have nine rows. So let's just count to make sure. I like to turn my hat kind of right side out just so I can count because this is just a little neater to be able to see. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? So your first row of red is going to be your 10th row. And you're going to do this all the way onto your 14th row. Again, we're going to double crochet in the same stitch as our join and as our chain two, okay? And don't be afraid to pull those extra cords, sorry, extra lines in the back just to make it a little bit more neater. I'm also gonna teach you how to fasten all of those off. All right, guys, so just keep going around for 62 double crochet or however many it is that you need to reach your size, All right? So if you had to do an increase, then you're gonna follow along. If you were doing less, then that's fine, but we're no longer doing increases. We're only working in straight rounds of single double crochets, all right? I'll see you guys here at the 14th row. So again, this is our 10th row. We're going to do this for a total of five rows. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, I'll see you guys here then. All right, guys, so we've reached the end of our 14th row, right? So just so that we're all on the same page, we should have nine rows in black and five rows in red, all right? Now we're going to work on the little ear warmers, I guess, the little, you know, parts that hang off the side. Flaps, ear flaps. Sorry, I couldn't for the life of me remember the name. All right, so we're going to join with a slip stitch. And I like to do it at the join. I don't like to just disconnect and then just find a spot because I like for the seam to kind of be on the side. That way you don't really see it on the back of the hat. Or obviously, or you don't want it on the front of the hat. But on the side, it kind of makes it a little bit more discreet. All right, so we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet in the next 10 stitches, okay? Again, I'm working on a toddler size. So if you're doing toddler or smaller 10 stitches would be your go-to for the first ear flap if you're doing a small child or a large child it would be 12 but again the pattern is on my website so you don't have to worry about it it will tell you exactly how much you need for each side one two three four five six seven eight nine, 10, and we're going to chain one, we're going to turn. So now we're going to do a decrease. The decrease, you're going to do single crochet two together, single crochet across, and when you get to the last two, you're gonna single crochet together. Single crochet together, single crochet, Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Last two, single crochet together. And that should bring you down to eight stitches, right? So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chain one and turn. This next row, you're just gonna work eight single crochets across. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Chain one and turn. This next row is going to be another decrease. So single crochet together in the first two and single crochet together in the last two for a total of six. One, two, three, four, five. And if you don't know how to single crochet together, the abbreviation for that is S-C-T-O-G, right? Single crochet together. What you do is you insert your hook and you pull up as you would a single crochet, except you're not going to pull through. You're going to insert your hook in the next stitch. I'm sorry, in the next stitch and pull up. Now you have three loops on your hook and you're going to pull together and that's one single crochet. Two turned into one. Chain one, turn. You're going to work um, a row of six single crochets. So you're just gonna single crochet across. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chain one and turn. Now we're going to once again decrease. So single crochet together in the beginning and in the last two, right? For a total of four. One, two, three, Four. Chain one and turn. You're going to single crochet straight across for four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Chain one and turn. You're going to do two single crochet together for a total of two single crochets. One, two, chain one and turn. These last two, you're just going to join them. You're not going to single crochet across. You're just going to simply do one single crochet together. So you're just going to do your last decrease. And your first ear flap is done. Okay? So now, this is your seam. I like to leave this kind of behind in the back. So now we're going to count where we're going to put our next ear flap, all right? I kind of like to kind of eyeball it a little. I have more or less a count in my head. Um, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I think 22 works, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. So we're gonna leave twenty two. So that means you're gonna do your, you're gonna insert your stitch on your twenty third stitch. So you're going to leave twenty two in the front, okay? And you're going to work up another ten single crochet. Chain one. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have to just kind of see. Yep, that's pretty even. Okay. So we did our ten. We're going to chain one and turn. Remember now, this is a decrease row for a total of eight. So single crochet in the first two. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and single crochet together in the last two, eight. Chain one and turn. You're going to single crochet across for a total of eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, chain one and turn, decrease down to six. So decrease. Sorry, I don't want that on my thing. Okay, 
decrease. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Chain one and turn. Now you're going to single crochet across for a total of six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chain one and turn. Decrease for a total of four. Single crochet together in the first two. One, two, three. Single crochet in the last two, four. Chain one and turn, single crochet straight across for four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Chain one and turn, decrease for a total of two. So the first two, oh, sorry, I'm kind of like stuck here. So the first two, decrease, last two, decrease, chain one and turn the last two you don't single crochet you just join okay you fasten off and you are done this is the front of the hat all right so now we have to add our border i like a yellow border you can honestly do any color that you like you can do a black border you could do a red border I just like yellow because his shoes are yellow so I kind of feel like it you know him his pants his shoes it kind of goes so what I like to do is I like to join it in the back so this is obviously the front and I know this because this right here is my seam where I connected and I joined my red to my black that is my seam it's really hard to tell with the black but you can kind of sort of tell on the the red this will always tell you where your seam is so this is the back so i kind of find a center point and that's where i'm going to insert my hook and pull up my yellow and all you're going to do is just simply single crochet across the border of the hat So you're just going to continue to single crochet. All right, so now when you get to your first ear flap, here's how I kind of like to do this. Up until this point, you've had the stitches to put it, you put your hook in. Here, you don't have the stitches to work into, right? Because this is just the edging. So what I do is I kind of find little holes to insert my hook. And kind of make it spaced out as even as possible. So if you kind of see, there's a hole there that you can just put through. Very simple. And then there's a hole here, but that wouldn't be too even. So what I like to do is kind of insert my hook kind of right in between here. Just like that. Go on to the next. Okay, now when you get to the top, this one little single crochet that you had joined together, I like to do two single crochets in it. I know it kind of seems kind of like, Kind of productive if I just joined the two, but for some reason it just makes it look neater and cuter, and that's just what I like to do. So I'm going to do two single crochets in this one top single crochet, and then I'm going to my little extra that I cut off. I like to hold it down and kind of single crochet with it pressed up against my flap. It makes it easier for sewing later on. It just makes it neater. It keeps it in place better. It's just my preference. So in this one, it's pretty easy as you're going down because you can see the holes a lot better. So there's a hole here. Again, press that down, come up, 
There's another one there. I'm sorry. And you're just going to single crochet down. Try not to get the red caught up. If it's too difficult for you, you don't have to crochet with it along, but I just, I feel like it just makes it, when I go to fasten it off at the end and sew it off and, and bring it, it just secures it more in place if it's been already single crocheted into with the flap. Okay, so now you're back to your, si your stitches. So now you're just going to single crochet in each stitch. This is the front of the hat. Okay, now we're working again on the side. So I put it in here, stick it again into that little spot. Next one, you see the gap right there. Again, into the little spot. Again, the gap. And that's just how I like to do it along. I feel like it makes it pretty even and symmetrical and neat and it's not like you have a bunch of wonky single crochets everywhere. Okay, again we're on the top and we have the one single crochet here sitting on the top from our join, our decrease from the last one. So again we're going to do two single crochets into that one space. All right. Now we're gonna work our way down. Again, I like to stitch this along with it. And you see these, going down this way is easier because you have the gap there, the gap there, the gap there, the gap there. So it's pretty spread out, pretty even, and it makes it easier. I guess going down the mile and then going up. All right, now we're back to our stitches. Okay, you're going to join. And you are done with the base of your hat. So now what we are going to do is we are going to fasten off. I want to show you how to fasten off just because I feel like if you're new to this, if you're learning, I want to show you step by step. I don't want to kind of leave you in the lurch not really knowing how to complete each task. I want to show you from beginning to end okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take our threading needle okay and our very top I like to make sure that it's pulled nice and tight okay insert to your needle then what I like to do is I like to just kind of Sew it along the top, right? So, okay, so I like to just sew along the top, right? Until I get a little bit around. And then what I do is I insert it in one spot, 
work a loop, go into the loop, and tighten it. We'll do that one more time, and tighten it, okay? Then cut off, that part is done. Now our join, here where we did our little color change, it's pretty simple, you can just tie it. I like to kind of tie it three times. I don't know what it is, but that just makes me feel better. Two, three. Okay. So that's this one. You're going to, oops, sorry, I dropped my needle. Okay, so you're going to take your yarn, insert it, and then kind of go up, right? I like to kind of put it through one of the reds. So now they're kind of on even area they're pretty much even to each other as far as placement one is not down here one is not up here and you don't have it down here so it's not going to be shown and just make a knot again three times one two three okay now we have this little yarn that you carried over with you. Insert it in your needing, your threading needle. I like to go here and then go there, loop it in, tie it, and do it one more time. Just straighten it out, make sure it hasn't pulled it. And that's that for that one. Next side, we have our beginning yarn from when we started our first, not our first flap, our second flap. So I kind of just like to insert it. through the loop, tighten, do it again, tighten, and that's that. Last one that you again carry down the mountain with you. Go through here. See how it just snaps it into place sometimes? So you just have to straighten it back out. Okay. All right, this is your back. So when you turn it right side out, this is what it's going to look like. This is what your base is going to look like. Okay. Now in part two, we're going to be working on our Mickey ears, our little pants button, and our braids. All right, so I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.